Good evening, Ape Nation. What's going on, guys? It's Saturday night. It's October 16th, 2021. And uh, I know there's a lot of comments from last night's video that I have not got to answer yet. I just want to let you guys know you have my word. As soon as this video is uploaded, I will be jumping over there to answer all of your questions, each and every one of you. I'm going to try to keep tonight's video very concise because there's a lot of information to take in and I don't want this running more than 12, 13 minutes tops. So a lot of you guys have been following me for a long time know that a few weeks ago on Sunday night, I made a video about the president and his mandate for the vaccine. Now, I said it was affecting a lot of Americans and it was about to start affecting myself personally. So I wanted to talk about it. I have a small YouTube channel and I just wanted to get my message out there, the, how I felt. And I open up the comments to say, guys, let me know how you feel. And it was up for about two or three hours. I got like three or 400 views, a bunch of likes and a bunch of comments. And next thing I know, it was down and demonetized. So next day, I get an email from YouTube telling me I'm spreading misinformation, medical misinformation. And they allowed me to appeal. I appealed and said, hey, not for nothing, YouTube. But I got all these video clips from around your platform. I kind of missed and matched them and pulled them from places, but every one of those channels is up right now running and making money on ads. Uh, so I think it's a little unfair that you're giving me a strike when every video clip came from YouTube. And I just got back a, you have lost the appeal letter. So when this situation happened this week, let's just say my antenna parked up really quickly. And if you haven't seen this clip yet, it's Sanjay Gupta, who is CNN's medical professional. Dr. Sanjay Gupta went on Joe Rogan's podcast on Thursday, and they got into a little bit of a discussion. We'll call it a discussion uh, about what CNN said about Joe taking ivermectin. And let me just say that I have never seen someone squirm in their chair before as badly as Sanjay Gupta did in joe rogan's studio so shout out to joe rogan who i'm a huge fan of uh, i looked up to him when i was trying to get into doing this whole thing with youtube i followed him for a long time and i don't think the guy is as dumb as people say he is i think he's very centric he's very level-headed yeah he has some crazy guests on sometimes with some crazy ideas but for the most part he's a pretty level-headed tough and seems like a kind guy and of course he grew up in boston so you know i guess i probably have a little bias with joe but honestly i really believe that i think he's a decent individual all right so we're gonna roll this clip but before we do that cue the speeder <laughs> You just said that on camera. This going viral. Guys, thank you so much for crushing it and getting me to 1,000 subscribers. If I haven't earned your subscription yet, this is the way. All right, guys. So just to let you know, this is just a short clip. It's from JRE's YouTube channel. He had a three-hour interview with Gupta, and this is just a small portion of it. It's got a million views, and it has 37,000 upvotes to 1,000 downvotes. Uh, you guys actually do a better ratio than that, but this is pretty good. Uh, but our channel is beating it <laughs> on a much smaller scale. All right. All right. Well, you don't need to hear from me anymore. Roll the film. Uh, so, so for you, Joe Rogan. Yes. I would say you've had it. Yes. So now get one shot of the vaccine. No. Why not? Because I have better immunity than I would if I was vaccinated. We, so, right? Yes. Don't I? I think your immunity is really good. So why, if I've already gotten through COVID and I was really only sick for a day, and then five days later I was negative... And I, I do have the natural antibodies now. Why would I take a chance in getting vaccinated on top of that? By the way, I'm glad you're, you're, you're better. I'm Thank glad you. it only lasted a day. You're probably really the am. only one at CNN that's glad. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not the rest of them are all lying about me taking Hork's medication. <laughs> we should talk about that. That bothered you. It should bother you, too. I, They're well, lying uh, at your network about people taking human drugs versus drugs for it, veterinary. It, calling it a horse dewormer is not a flattering thing. I get it's that. It's a lie. It's a lie on a news network, it, it, and it's a lie that's a willing that's that's a lie that they're conscious of this is not a mistake yeah they're unfavorably framing it as veterinary medicine well the fda put this thing out you saw that 
Did you see that thing that the FDA put out? What did the FDA put out? <laughs> it was a tweet, and it was snarky. I admit it. They said, you are not a horse, you are not a cow. Stop taking this stuff or something like Why that. Why would you say that when you're talking about a drug that's been given out to billions and billions of people, a drug that was responsible for one of the inventors of it making the Nobel the, Prize. The Nobel Prize in 2015. 15, yeah. Yeah, no, a, a drug well, that has been shown to stop viral replication in vitro. You know that, right? I, I, Why would they lie? And say that's horse dewormer. I can afford people medicine, motherfucker. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's just a lie. I don't think anyone is thick. But don't you think that a lie like that is dangerous on a news network when you know that they know they're lying? You know that they know that I. Do you, the, the thing is, we're, we're, we're like going so fast. Like, I feel like I'm missing. I'm missing. Do you think I want that to... that's a problem that your news network was not... lies? Very effective medication. For parasitic disease, and as you say, it's probably, you know, I think, what, a quarter billion people have taken it around the world? More, I get that. Way more. So Way more. Can, Billions can, of people have taken it. Can I just come back to the one? I want to talk about I, two, no, no, two, no, no, two no, things no. on you the have ledger. To, you have, before we get to that, does it bother you that the news network you work for out and out lied? Well, just outright lied about me taking horse dewormer? They, they, they shouldn't have said that. Why did they do that? I don't know. You didn't ask? You I didn't think that was your, you're the medical guy over there. I didn't ask. I should have asked before coming But they coming did it with podcast. such glee. No, Yes, they did. I watched. They, you I watched. watched? I watched. You watched. No, I don't think there's yes, glee. Yes, they did. I don't, I, no one takes. <laughs> Joe Rogan says he has COVID. Taking, <laughs> taking livestock drug despite warnings. Yeah. Jamie had to pull this up. You want to huh? play it? Does she, does she this have is glee? your news network. I'm going to watch. Let's see. I'm going to watch. Rogan telling his 13 million Instagram followers that he was treated with several drugs, and he included ivermectin on the list, a drug used for livestock. The FDA and the CDC warn against using to treat COVID. Turns out I got COVID. Look, they put a so yellow filter on me too. The kitchen sink at it. All kinds <laughs> of meds. Monoclonal you see the antibodies, original video uh, versus that. I look like shit there. Z Do you know that? I think you look good. Pause. Uh, Pause. It's enough. Prednisone. I don't. That's think, enough, Jimmy. I don't but, think Aaron had glee. Oh well, it's more Brian Stelter was the gleeful one. But this, the point is, that's a lie. It can be used for humans. I, I get it. I, I totally... Not just could be used for humans. Is often used for humans along with all the other drugs I took. All human drugs. Yes. They know it's a human drug. It's, it's, a, it can, it's right. But and the, they lied. The thing It's I, defamatory. It, it, it is. It is uh, yeah, they shouldn't have done that. It's I get, defamatory, right? Well, I don't know if it's defamatory. I bet it is. Yeah, well, I'm not a lawyer. But my point is... You're working for a news organization. If they're lying about a comedian taking horse medication, what are they telling us about Russia? What are they telling uh, us about Syria? Do you, not, do you understand that that's why people get concerned about the veracity of the news? The, 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 the concern was... Uh, look, just, so that was just a small clip of a three-hour podcast that they did together. And that was probably the most controversial part because... For some weird reason, uh, dumb Joe Rogan, as everyone is claiming, had to keep correcting Dr. Sanjay Gupta. And for some reason, Sanjay Gupta just, he didn't come in prepared for this, clearly. Um, he should have known better to walk into Joe Rogan's studio uh, that he's going to bring it. And Sanjay Gupta got worked. Joe Rogan worked Sanjay Gupta for three hours. So that was not the end of the discussion with Joe Rogan because it continued later that night when Dr. Gupta got back to CNN and he went on Don Lamont's uh, nightly broadcast and talked about what had transpired earlier in the day on Joe's podcast. And watch the about face that takes place when he's talking to a different audience and on a different network with a different agenda and a different ideology. Roll the film. But he, he did say something about ivermectin that I think wasn't actually correct about CNN and lying, okay? Ivermectin is a drug that is commonly used as a horse dewormer. So it is not a lie to say that the drug is used as a horse dewormer. I, I, I think that's important and it is not approved for covid correct that's right that's correct it, it it is not approved for covid and 
You're right. I mean, the FDA even put out a, a statement saying, you know, basically reminding people it was a strange sort of message from the FDA, but that said, you're not a horse, you're not a cow, stop taking. And guys, so I'm going to end this video. I just want to tell you that I didn't really go too much about into AMC tonight or the broader market. I want to talk about the Fed, but I had to get this video out there because I just wanted to highlight some of the hypocrisy uh, and double standards that go on across the media all the time. And I think it's just proving why there is so much distrust in the media today. And guys, we've seen that with this AMC play, how they have these people come on and Rich Greenfield and Jim Chanos who are telling us that AMC is going to a penny and that the fundamentals make no sense and the movie theaters are going out of business. And really this whole time that we've been in this play for the last 10 months, we've had a little bit of backing from mainstream media. Uh, Steve Bannon and Tim Pool have talked about the apes on Tim Pool's channel. That's not really mainstream media, though. That's more independent media, right? Charles Payne, he's the man. He's been rocking with us for a long time now. He's had Keenan Grace on, and he's had Trey on. He's had Matt Kors on, and he's really supported us. And Tucker has had David Portnoy on and Glenn Greenwald on, uh, talking about the GME scandal and just last week when Tucker had Dave Portnoy on, and Dave Portnoy said he was looking into AMC and what's going on uh, behind closed doors. And that's why he's getting shadow banned. You know, no one else is talking about this in the media. And it seems like we're getting lost in the shuffle somewhere. You have to take pause and say, is this really a, just a bigger beast than we ever imagined? It so I'm still working on this Fed video. Um, I think you guys will really like it. It's about inflation and how the, me the media for some reason the last couple of weeks uh, there's been a ton of information out there that inflation is good for us for retail investors for the middle class for the lowest on the totem pole somehow they're telling us or trying to make us believe that inflation is good for us and i have some great clips that i pulled that i think you guys will enjoy and I'll have that out for you guys tomorrow. I think the media is really trying to mislead us into believing that inflation is going to be a good thing for us. I don't think that's true. And uh, I'll try to work through that uh, information tomorrow with you guys. Show you some data and some video. Just two other things I want to talk about. The SEC 7.13 rule. I'm doing some looking into that. I'm going to find out what that suspending trading is all about and how that could affect us going forward. And also I saw some things flying around on Reddit and a few of you guys reached out to me, thank you so much, telling me about the $1,500 bonus to stay at Amer TD Ameritrade that they're handing out. I can't verify any of that, but I'm gonna go dig in looking for it tonight uh, and I'll see what I can come up with tomorrow. I'll put that in the video as well. So if you have any concerns about seven uh, the SEC ruling 7.13 on the suspension of trading uh, on the NYSE or curious about the $1,500 TD Ameritrade thing to stay with them and not transfer. I'll bring that to you guys tomorrow and we'll talk about it. All right, that's all I've got for tonight. Guys, enjoy your Saturday night. Uh, enjoy sleeping in tomorrow if you have the chance to. And I appreciate all of you guys out there who continue to support me. I really do. This is Ape Nation. I'm the Mastalorian and I'm out.